Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk to you about the brand new Graco Ultra Quick Shot. Hi everyone, my name's Josh and I'm from Spray Direct. Today we've got a video about a product that's been in the works for a little while now, and this is the Graco Ultra Quick Shot. It's the next model in the Graco Ultra lineup, following on from the extremely popular Graco Ultra and the Ultra Max handheld. So let's open it up and take a look. So here it is, and as you can see, it comes with everything you're gonna to need to get started. So we've got the quick shot unit itself with the belt and the holster to hold it on your waist. Then we've got two DeWalt 18 volt, two amp hour batteries and a DeWalt charger. We also get two tips, so that's an FFLP 514 and an FFLP 410. We also get the Rackex guard that those tips fit into, the 60 and 100 mesh filters, a grounding cable for use with solvent based materials or flammable liquids and also a handy durable carry bag to pack it all away and take it from job to job. Right, so where do we start? So what is the Graco Ultra Quick Shot? Now this is Graco's next generation small job airless sprayer and Graco state that the Quick Shot is designed for jobs up to 3 US gallons or just over 11 litres. And what do we mean by an airless sprayer? An airless sprayer uses a pump to put the material you're spraying under loads of pressure and then pushes it through a small hole causing it to atomize. This concept is exactly the same as something you might do at home, so you take your garden hose and put your thumb over the end of it causing the water to spray. Airless sprayers are exactly the same except at much higher pressure and instead of using your thumb we use a spray tip to determine the fan pattern and the amount of material that's coming out. The quick shot has a variable flow or pressure control that is easily adjusted on the back of the gun itself and that will control anywhere from 100 psi all the way up to 2000 psi which is going to be plenty for all the small jobs you're likely to throw at it. As I said when we buy a quick shot unit you get two spray tips with it but we also have a wider range that we can pick from as well. So the quick shot has been designed to work with the FFLP tips or fine finish low pressure tips from Graco and we can use a max tip size of up to 16 thou, so that covers us all the way up to tips as large as FFLP 616. So what kind of job should we be using the quick shot for and what's it been designed for? So first up we've got the jobs inside the house, so you're going to be doing things like doors, cabinets, skirting boards, architraves, stair spindles uh, and even some feature walls. But to be honest, if you're looking at getting a spray out to do complete rooms or complete houses, this probably isn't the unit for you. And you probably want to be considering something like the Graco GX21 or the GXFF, which are both available in either 240 volt or DeWalt power battery. Moving outside, we could then use the quick shot for jobs like garage doors, uh, a few fence panels, furniture, decking, or even small sheds. Again, just bear in mind the machine is designed for complete jobs that are using up to around 11 litres. So if you think the job might need more than that, it could be time to grab your bigger machine. The quick shot is capable of spraying most water and solvent based materials you're likely to be using around the house. And with any airless sprayer, you may get the best results by thinning your material slightly, which will allow you to reduce the spraying pressure and in turn reduce your overspray. Now I'll quickly run you through a few different features of the machine itself and then we can move into the spray booth and I'll show you it in action. The first and in my opinion the most impressive and revolutionary feature of this unit is the gun itself. It feels very much like the popular Graco Contractor PC Compact in terms of its physical size but it's also very light and manoeuvrable. You'll notice the gun itself is fed with this 6 foot airless hose which is protected with a braided sleeve which also houses some electrical cables. Now, we don't normally need electrical cables up to the gun, but this is where the quick shot becomes really interesting. Unlike conventional airless guns, where we pull a trigger to mechanically pull a needle off of a seat to start the flow of material, with the quick shot gun, when we pull the trigger, we're actually simply pressing an electrical button, which opens a valve to release the material. Releasing the trigger then shuts off the flow of material so fast that it virtually eliminates those little annoying spits altogether. And because the trigger is just a button, it requires much less force and therefore hugely reduces the repetitive strain you can get in your fingers or in your forearm, forcing you to switch between left and right hands, which in turn affects the quality of our finish. As I mentioned earlier, we also have the pressure or flow control here on the back of the gun, and this is where we can easily adjust our, to our required setup on the go, depending on the job we're doing, rather than going back to our pump with conventional units. 
At the lowest setting, we're going to be at around 100 psi, uh, and then we can increase up to a maximum of 2000 psi if we're using thicker materials. Another feature I'm a big fan of is the 900 milliliter cup system. First of all, it's completely removable with this simple clip on the side, which gives us easy access to cleaning both the cup and the filter. I also love the fact that the cup is gravity fed rather than suction fed, meaning that material naturally flows down into the pump with gravity, meaning that we're going to have less issues where the pump doesn't want to prime. An important thing to mention with the cup is there is a small plug in the top of the lid. This allows us to move around or transport the quick shot without spilling material, but when we spray we must remember to open it up, otherwise we'll create a vacuum inside the cup and no material will flow down into the pump. With each of the supplied 2 amp hour DeWalt batteries, Graco state that you can spray up to 1 US gallon, or 3.8 litres per battery. This means that if you're planning on doing a larger job and spraying a job around 10 to 11 litres, you're going to need to either get a third battery or rotate them and get your first one back on charge once it's drained. Now I've physically seen and had a play with the Ultra Quick Shot, it's clear Graco have really thought about making it really easy to use and really easy to set up. You've only got four main controls on the complete system. So first up we've got the trigger safety or trigger lock and this essentially acts like an on off switch because we can't pull the trigger to start the pump and open the gun valve. Second we've got the trigger itself to start the flow of material. Third we've got the pressure control on the back of the gun and lastly we've got the prime valve here which is simply point up to prime the air out of the system then turn 90 degrees to send the material down our hose and to our gun. Right, now we've run through the specs and features, let's go through setting it up and get sprayed. So once we've unpacked the machine and we understand what all the components and accessories are and where they go, we can then select the right tip and filter and get ready to spray. If you're not 100% sure on which tip and filter you should be using, go check out our videos which will be linked in the description below which go through all of that in detail. The setup is super quick and easy to do and when we first unpack the machine you'll likely notice that there's some blue liquid in the bottom of the material cup. Don't panic, this is perfectly normal. This is just pump armour and Graco use this as a storage lubricant whilst the machine is being shipped from them to us and then whilst it's sitting on our shelf ready to be shipped out to you. So first thing we need to do is pump out the pump armour. So if you're going to be spraying with a water-based product, we're going to want to flush it out with water and if we're going to be using a solvent-based product, then we're going to use a solvent-based cleaner like White Spirit. As I've already flushed out this quick shot, I'm going to be working with paint, but don't worry, the process is exactly the same, I'm just sure you don't want to watch me do it three times. Before we fill the machine with material, we first need to engage the trigger lock on the gun, turn down the flow control, and then turn the prime switch into the upward prime position. Then we can remove our lid, and then we ensure our filter is securely in position, and then we can begin to fill up the cup with water, solvent, or in my case, paint. Then we secure our lid, making sure it's nice and tight and not cross-threaded. We then open the small plug I mentioned earlier and allow air back into the cup and not create a vacuum. Your quick shot is now ready to start up. So we disengage the trigger lock, double check that the prime switch is in the upright position, which cycles the material through the pump and returns it back to the cup. Next up, we turn our tip 180 degrees round from the spray position to the unblock position and install a fully charged DeWalt battery. Now we need to prime our pump, which is basically removing all the air from the system and replacing it with the product we're looking to spray. To do this, first we double check that the cup plug is open and point our gun into a waste container and pull the trigger for around 10 seconds, adjusting the pressure as required. Most of the material will be returned back into the quick shot cup, but some of the material may come out of the gun during priming. After around 10 seconds, turn the prime switch 90 degrees into the spray position. Now we're looking to prime the hosing gun and remove all the air from the system. So again, we point the gun back into our waste container, ensuring that the tip is in the unblocked position and pull the trigger for around a further 10 seconds or until we get a steady flow of material. Again, adjusting the pressure as required. But I'd suggest keeping the pressure as low as we can to avoid any mess. If for whatever reason you find that material is not coming through after around 10 seconds or so, try running through those priming steps again as there may still be some air in the pump itself. If this still doesn't work, just give us a call or send us a WhatsApp message on the number on the screen here and a member of our technical team will talk you through the process and help you resolve the issue. Lastly, all we need to do is turn the tip through 180 degrees into the spray position and adjust our pressure and we are ready to spray. When we're setting our pressure, we're aiming for the minimum amount of pressure required to fully atomize our material. So as you can see here, I've started low and then I'm gonna slowly increase until we lose those tails and we get a nice even pattern. So now I'm going to be spraying a couple of different items so you can kind of get an idea of the jobs you're going to be using a quick shot for, 
how quick you can spray things with it and how versatile it is. I'll be using the FFLP514 and the FFLP210 that come supplied with the kit. As you can see, I'm using the same product with two different tip sizes. And what that means is, as the tip size increases, it's likely that we're going to need to increase our pressure. And that's because we've got more material coming out that we need to atomize. So don't just assume that the same product will spray at the same pressure with different tips. It's likely you'll need to fine tune your pressure after each change you make. It's worth also remembering to reduce the pressure we're spraying at and therefore reduce overspray and paint wastage and wear and tear on the pump, we can do a couple of things to reduce the viscosity and the surface tension of the material. So firstly, we can thin the material itself, let's say by around 10% as a rule of thumb for most emulsions and furniture coatings. Another good option is we can heat up a material, which is often an overlooked factor. If we're spraying a water-based product and we leave it in our van overnight and the temperature drops sub-zero in the winter, our paint is really going to thicken up and make it much harder to spray and we're going to need to be spraying at a much higher pressure. This procedure of flushing and filling with the material is very similar whether you are flushing out the factory pump armour, filling up with the product you want to spray or cleaning the unit after you've sprayed. There's only a couple of different steps that we should follow when we're cleaning especially and they are to flush at a high flow rate. So we do this by turning the pressure control on the back of the gun all the way up to 10 rather than doing it at a slow speed when we're priming. And then we also do it for a slightly longer uh, period of time, so 15, 20 seconds or so. We also obviously want to clean the external parts of the sprayer and remove any overspray, keep it looking nice and fresh. We should also remove the filter and the cup by pressing the button on the side of the cup and clean these separately. And when we're packing away the quick shot, we want to leave the pump full of pump armor, leave the pump in the prime position, close the cup plug and remove the battery so it's ready to go for the next time you use it. If you get stuck, Graco ship each quick shot with a really good manual and quick guide which clearly runs you through the process step by step or again just give us a call and we can talk you through it over the phone. In summary I think it's going to be a really popular machine and it's the perfect setup for someone doing small jobs either residentially or on site as it's quick, easy to set up and extremely portable. Another big benefit for me is if you're on a site with no power at all your alternative is a big petrol generator which takes up lots of space in the van and costs you money to put fuel in it. Obviously if you're on a site with no power at all you're going to need to make sure your batteries are charged before arriving on site. At the time of making this video you can buy an additional DeWalt battery charger for around £10 and a 2 amp hour DeWalt battery for around £25. So if you aren't able to charge your batteries on site and you need to go for that third battery it's still a cost effective option. I'll put a link in the description below to the Graco Ultra Quick Shot on our website so if you wanted to find out a bit more you can check it out there. If you've liked the video and found it helpful then please hit that thumbs up icon and if you wanted to find out more and get access to exclusive offers then please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell so you get a notification when we upload a new video that way you aren't going to miss out on any new offers or content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.